golfers, Dean with GolfAllYear.com, and today I am comparing the club data for the OptiShot and the Arm Motion Swing Analyzer. Uh, I already did a video on the uh, club head speed. Today I wanted to focus on the face angle data and the path data, which is so important to uh, ball flight. And so comparing the two, I, I truly do uh, like the OptiShot. Uh, club data that it gives you. I think it's easy to use. I, it's truly helped me uh, lower my handicap from uh, a, about a 15 to, to an 8. And so I am extremely excited about the OptiShot club data. And I wanted to see what the arm motion uh, provided. And uh, is it comparable to the accuracy of the OptiShot in terms of face angle and swing path? And so I'm going to hit a few shots and test it out and, and you can uh, help me kind of decide uh, the accuracy of, of the two. All right, so let's hit a few shots and see uh, how they compare. All right, let's compare the arm motion and the opti shot in terms of club face angle and swing path. Uh, you will be able to see what the arm motion shows and then I will read off what the opti shot says. So let's hit a few balls. OptiShot says close 0.7 degrees inside out path. And there you have the arm motion. OptiShot says open 1.3 degrees inside out path. And our motion is 4 degree face angle and 23 degree club path. OptiShot open 1.4 degrees in on plane. The arm motion look like zero degree face angle and club pass zero degrees. Close point four and on plane for the opti shot. Our motion one degree face angle and five degree club path. <clears throat> Closed. 0.7 and on plane for the opti shot and the arm motion was uh, face angle zero degrees and club path 13 degrees OptiShot open point four inside out. Our motion zero degrees, uh, face angle and club path 16 degrees. Let's hit one more. OptiShot open point, uh, open 4.1 inside out. And the R motion, three degrees, 18 degree club path. So there you have it. Let's uh, take a look and, and at the stats. I'll post them up there and we'll see how uh, they compare.
Okay, that's a few shots of the uh, OptiShot and the R Motion Swing Analyzer uh, looking at the face angle and the um, path. And so uh, I posted the, the data for those seven shots. Uh, you can see, um, and what, what I found, uh, that they're pretty close in terms of uh, uh, face angle and, and path. Uh, fairly close on in terms of both. I personally think the OptiShot data is easier to use. Uh, it's, it's very concise and, and um, it, I think it's pretty accurate. Um, the problem that I see with the R motion uh, is the uh, lining up the sensor. And I think that that can kind of sway the path and the angle one way or the other if you're just a little bit off. And, and I found it sometimes difficult uh, to line it up just just right. Uh, and if you don't, I think that it can sway the accuracy of the R motion. But I'd love to hear your comments and what you think about the R motion and the OptiShot in terms of um, accuracy. Uh, these are two great uh, budget simulators. I'll post down below if you are interested in getting them uh, through Amazon. Uh, and please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I'm doing a lot of stuff on comparing um, simulators. I'm also going to do some stuff on how to improve using those simulators. So be looking for those videos in the future. All right. Thanks a lot.